hey guys welcome to the video number 456 i hope all of you are doing pretty fine and this time we have a uh, uh, another wonderful video uh, which is going to tell you that how knowing the vba and the excel can help you a lot in making your you know summaries or dashboards or maybe uh, making your you know they can make your task so simple right so it's not that when you always use the VBA then it has to be a VBA and if it is in uh, you know if it is Excel if it is some formula you're applying then it has to be only Excel formula it is not that guys right you can combine both these things so if you know VBA and if you know Excel very well, then you can integrate them, right? So, you know, couple of the part you can use from the Excel and some of the part you can use from the VBA. And this is one of those of, you know, the case studies which we are going to discuss today. So I welcome all of you on this channel, which is youtube.com slash C slash Ajay Kumar Parmar. And you are watching this video number 456 right and thank you so much for your lovely support for your so much of you know uh, support and 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 uh, of course uh, uh, also for the fact that uh, every time when you watch the videos they are being liked uh, you, you are very much actively participating in the you know comment section and i think the last month uh, i am running the uh, running this channel from the last three years and in the three years uh, not exactly three years but almost going to come <laughs> complete three years and in the last month we got around 400 and plus subscribers so i really want to thank you a lot because actually i can see that now the channel is really growing and it is reaching to everybody and you are all appreciating your you know the videos which you have made on excel excel vba access and access vba so i just i mean i don't have words to express my you know uh, a big thank i'm feeling very very excited very happy very motivated whenever i have your comments on the channel <laughs> right so this is for those who are watching the channel for the first time uh, we have uh, uh, when i started this channel i wanted to dedicate this to all those needy people uh, uh, all all those people who work on excel a lot and they really get struggle in you know doing the uh, minor things doing the major things it could it could be a vlookup formula it could be a vlookup in vlookup formula it could be a vlookup with other formulas it could be a, a small code in VBA which which can be recorded it could be a big big code like pasting the charts in the PowerPoint sending the emails through the outlook so we have talked about everything here right so the only thing which is left for me I think <laughs> is now these days which I'm trying to get the time to study is the internet scrapping and I know that you are very much eagerly waiting because I got almost like I think 10 15 emails and the comments that they, they, they are really looking forward to the internet you know the connectivity with the internet part right so anyways that's something when the right time come i will talk about that but today i want to tell you if you're watching the channel for the first time you go to the playlist this is the playlist guys 45 playlist we have created so far you can see that i've got 12 comments here right now and <laughs> i have to revert it right so thank you so much for all this support really that means that you know the channel actually is helping you and my aim which which i you know had taken long time back that i want to make everybody you know everybody everybody programmer as long as excel and access is concerned and i think that's something i'm heading in the right direction so this channel has 45 playlists and you can watch all these playlists they are all divided into excel excel vba ms access and access vba if you are confused how to begin with then this is the playlist you can pause the video and watch the videos in this series we have the excel vba playlist these are all the playlist name these these are all the excel playlist name these are all the access content and these are all the access vba playlist you should watch these playlists in this way and every playlist will you know you will see there around four some some playlists have have four videos some some have like 10 videos 15 videos that depends right so day by day we are uploading the videos as i get the questions i upload the videos i try to answer queries or if i come across something exciting in my personal online trainings or maybe if i'm taking something you know uh, i'm just i mean if i i'm googling something i'm surfing something and i you know see something interesting i go and you know share it with you as you know now in this video what we're going to talk to be, uh, today is that guys now suppose in the column a you have a table and in this table you have so many repetitions you can see that the name is repeating for example you talk about the ajay you talk about the laren they are coming again and again now basically we need a data validation which always picks up the unique names from here 
right so it not give us the repetition now if I just click here you can see that here I have Ajay I have Larin I have you know books I have Ajay and Ashoka and then Raj and Jason you know and then Abdul so these all names are repeated right now in order to understand the this video I hope you are very good in the offset function you know the name manager and then you also know the how to create the drop downs using the data validation right and if you have a basic information of VBA that would be great right but no problem at all if you do not know offset function if you don't have any idea about the data validation you can go and check out the my playlist which is one of the excel playlist called excel offset this is the excel offset function and similarly guys you can go and watch excel indirect in the indirect also I talked about the data validation in the offset also I talked about the data validation because in the data validation when you make the drop downs you know you can use these functionalities and of course you can go to the excel vb introduction series as well right but it's not really so required if even if you have a one or two percent of the idea how the vba works i think we will be able to do that right now the point is the first thing which i want to do is now you know how we create the data validation so basically what i have done is you go to the data and you click on the data validation and this is the range i have given right which is a2 to a14 now guys the point is this a2 to a14 or it could be something else in your case it could be b2 to b14 or b2 to b100 you know that doesn't matter range is range whatever it is but the thing is in the range we have a repetition and we don't want them to be included if i have a repetition of ajay then in the data validation ajay should only appear once that's what i want right so first of all what you will do is you simply go and you know let me clear the data validation go to the data validation and say that you want to clear all there we go now the data validation is gone now first of all what I will do what is my plan guys my plan is to first of all put the unique items here I want to put the unique items here once I have the unique items here what I can do is I can put the data validation here that's it using the offset function right so first of all what we will do we will quickly record the macro okay and the macro we are going to record is this is how it is going to work you go to the developer tab and you click on the record macro if you don't have a developer tab then please go to the file and the option because if some of you if you have never used the macro then you need to go to the customized ribbon and in the customized ribbon make sure this developer tab should be on right this is 2010 2013 and 2016 if you are using 2007 then it, it it would be somewhere here which you can google right so I have this developer tab on now what I will do is I will simply go and record the macro this is my macro I'm gonna record the macro macro one let's keep it macro one okay now what I will do is I will put the cursor here okay you will put the cursor here and then you use control shift down arrow okay control shift down arrow is a shortcut key which will select the entire table provided there should be no black row between right I copy this and I go here and I'm going to paste it you can use the paste special or you can simply paste that's all up to you I'm going to paste this here okay once you have pasted this you select this entire B column and remember guys we are recording the macro now once you have done that you just go to the data and you you know here we have the option called remove duplicates now when you say remove duplicates microsoft excel found data next to your selection because you you have not selected this data it will not be removed expand the selection continue with the current selection so i'm really going to continue with the current selection and i say that remove duplicate okay when you click on the remove duplicate it says that this is the column number which is unique items my data has headers of course my data has headers which I never want to be a part of this you know the process which is going to remove the duplicates otherwise you can uncheck that but we don't need that because unique items is just the header so I just click OK now guys when you click OK you see that four duplicate values found and removed that's it now once you are done with that what you need to do is you need to just go and in the developer tab you need to stop the recording okay or maybe you can also do one thing you can just hide this in the before the macro starts you can unhide it and before uh, you know and the macro starts uh, when the macro stops about to stop you can you know hide it so unhide hide it this is something you can easily do for example like this let me stop the recording
okay now what we want to do let me macro is stopped we have the code generated and we will go there but first of all I want to show you one thing that now here what are you thinking I know you must be thinking that now I do talk about this which I already know that I go to the data validation in the data validation I'm going to click on the list and I'm going to create here this you know the drop down basically this drop down or maybe this drop down right sort of that right so when I click OK you see that the drop down would come with the unique values right but guys there is a problem here the first of all I don't want the blanks I want that this data validation should automatically stops at 810 that is the first thing which I want to do okay what is the another thing I want to do if I show you in the data validation now in the future you may have bigger data you may have hundred such names so you can't every time go here and you know keep on editing it right so what we are supposed to do is we are going to put here a function a function which is called offset and the offset is going to create this table for us right so how we are going to do that so let me I have talked about this you know if I sh show you in this in this playlist this offset function if I click here now you can see that offset function introduction part one use of offset in the summary reports part two and then create dynamic drop downs guys this is a video which you must watch part one part two part three they are very very important for you okay you can watch and there are other videos as well right so this is something we are going to do today so now still I will explain you so what happens when you write the offset function okay in the offset function you have four parameter five parameters reference row column height and width and we are going to use the height and width height means number of rows I want to use in the table and the width means number of the columns I want to use and this row and column obviously is for the movement part so I'm going to say that I will start from the B1 which is my starting point as a reference and I go one row down which is one so that it should stop at a J right and then the column would be zero because you're on the same column now when you press enter you need to make sure that you're on a j right or whichever cell it is right uh, the value is going to be there in the b2 now once you have done that you have to make the table now if i write here if i write here one two three four five six seven eight nine and then one because nine means number of rows should be nine and number of columns should be one so when I press control shift enter because you are using so many cells in a single cell so you can't simply say enter you have to use the control shift enter and this is the you know when you use the height and the width offset acts as an array and the, to make it an array you have to press control shift enter and when you press F9 F9 is a shortcut key to expand the array right or to expand any formula result actually so now you see that I got the entire table guys now the point is that the next time if I escape if I add let's say something here this F and if you go back here and if you just press F9 you will not be able to see that FF here so this is the point what we will do is we will simply in this height parameter in order to make this automated what I will do is I will simply write count A and then I'm going to start my table from here okay from here and then you can select the maximum range so suppose I know that my table is not never going to be you know let's say greater than 300 so I write here 300 or 3000 whatever it is right just press control shift enter now when you press control shift enter what will happen your this count is going to return you the number of times we have this data coming which is this time 10 so when you go here you would see that automatically the data is picking up FF right and similarly if you just go and drag uh, delete something from here and you go back to this and now you click on the F9 guys you see that it's shrinking it's not showing you blank 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 here that's how we use the offset right but as I said that if you are a, if you don't have any idea about the offset or if you if you just if you have used only the first form of the offset which is a normal form where we don't use basically the height and the weight then of course you need to go back and see those videos which I was talking about right so this is what we need to now fix in our actually the data validation so before I do that I quickly want to make sure that I should freeze all these values because it sometimes it happens when you make the data validation you know your dollar sign if you don't insert the dollar sign the reference gets changed anyways that's fine now I'm just going to I remove the equals to sign and I just copy this and now what to do now you select your entire range like this range 
and now let's go to the data validation uh, the selection contains some cells without data validation well yes they are, there are a lot of cells where I haven't used the data validation so do you want to extend the data validation yes I want to extend it I want to make sure that this should be on the entire table so now guys here you would you would not go and select any specific range as I was talking right here we are going to put the same formula which is this formula offset b1 comma 1 comma 0 count a b2 to b3 now what will happen because you know you just saw that offset this function when you when you press ctrl shift enter it returns the entire table right so same will happen in this case as well right now because we are adding this in the list so what will happen instead of you know using the f9 and instead of seeing all the values in the one cell this time all the values will sh will be shown in the form of the drop down that is the good combination of this data validation list and the offset i press ok once you press ok let's have a look so i use this you can see that we got the data validation wow this is amazing so we have every item here unique right now if you want to go and test this thing again now next time so what we will do is we will create the button here and we're going to create the button here and this is what it is supposed to do so here what i will do is i will create the button here and i right click and i go to the assign macro if you remember the macro name the macro name was macro one right and i'm just going to write here run so run this macro so whenever this macro is going to run what should happen this list should be formed immediately okay so if I go to the Visual Basic and I show you this, let me show you this uh, in which module it has inserted. So let me check that. There are, <laughs> there are so many modules actually. I have to find it out. Where is it? So um, I think that's the one. Yeah, this is the one, macro one. Now you can see that this is the macro we recorded. Okay. Now before I do you know i further run this what i what we want to do is whenever user clicks here let's make sure that this should be cleared okay so how this is going to be cleared what you can do is you can simply copy this code and you can write it on the top so this code actually what it does it goes in the a2 and then from the a2 so this time it is going to be b2 i just want to make sure that the b2 should be clear before anything happens and then you can write here selection dot clear content like this so when i run this see what will happen first of all you will go in the b2 from the b2 it's going to select and it's going to clear the every you know entire cell right entire range actually right now one more thing we want to do is if you have you know if you have hidden this then what will happen first of all you need to you know unhide this so if you remember in the last we hit you know made this column hidden so what i will do is i will first of all make sure that you should make this column hidden as false so that it should be visible okay like this so now we're going to run this so what will happen when the user is going to click on this button this is how it will work so it goes here it deletes everything and then it goes in the a2 from the a2 we use control shift down arrow okay so this is the shortcut key basically let me write it control shift and down arrow key now this is a shortcut key we use to you know select the data in the downward direction i talked about my uh, many mis useful shortcut keys in my video my shortcut uh, series you know there are three videos there you can watch there are there are almost 20 i think 25 videos there there are 25 uh, shortcut keys there right so that's how it is going to now you can uh, let me just uh, rerun the query so there we go so everything is cleared it goes in the a2 and now it's going to copy the data it's going the b2 it pastes the data there and then in the column b to b select and we have the you know duplicates removed and then finally the b column is going to be hidden guys perfect right that's how it is going to work now when i click here you see that this is how it's going to run right this is how it is going to run and you have your data validation coming here now in future let's say if i just go and drag let's say you know these many names and I, I, I let's say write XYZ and then XYZ and then XYZ 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 now we should have Ajay and Ashoka okay if I just go and see this drop down right away it's not because it's from the previous value if you remember in the column B we have the previous values right so let me undo this but the moment you're gonna run this tool again look at this guys now let's go to the data validation 
Do you see that? We have Ajay, Ashoka, Raj and XYZ and they are all unique, right? In order to bring the speed, because when I click here, you see that user sees that there is some macro which is running if I just click like this, okay? You can further go and do one thing. You can write on the top application dot screen updating equals to false and then at the end of the macro, you change it back to application screen updating equals to true okay make sure you should do do that so when I'm going to run that look at this guys there is no movement happening and it is working very quick right so if I just go and add all Ajay and I run this code now let me have a look oh wow this is wonderful this is how you can make this dynamic you know drop down on now I'm not saying that this is only possible with the VBA maybe I will talk about the another step if you don't want to do a VBA then you can otherwise you know make a make an array formula which can simply remove all the unique items uh, sorry the duplicate items from this so in the Excel also it is possible but I thought just combining it with the VBA can be a great fun so that's why I did that now many of you must be wondering that if the user forgets to click here then what right so in that case you have two options either you can do one thing whenever the user selects the sheet 11 you can go in this sheet 11 for example double click here guys and here you can do one thing you can simply go and select the worksheet and in the worksheet what you can do is whenever this sheet 11 is going to be selected so you're gonna say that activate so find it out where is the activate event these are all called the events right if you don't have any information about the events go and check my excel vb events playlist events means which are self triggered they don't need your button right you don't have to click on any button they are the you know self driven macros whenever the condition qualifies they run for example in this case if i write this macro within worksheet underscore activate it means that every time the sheet gets activated this macro is going to run so you can do one thing either you can put the message box you can write here don't forget to run the macro right this is the first option so what will happen i'll show you whenever you click outside this and you come back to the sheet 11 this is what it says don't forget to run the macro that is the first option or the other thing you can do is if you don't want to display the message just go and you know what wherever you have that macro name my macro name is macro one ideally you should give it some good name okay don't keep the macro one mac macro two if you want to be known as a good programmer always give it give it a meaningful name maybe like unique values you know data validation so I just go in the sheet again sheet 11 and I see that whenever this sheet gets activated this macro should be called so call call is a word guys which means that every time this sheet is going to run this macro will fire I'll show you I put the break code here now see what happens I go to the another sheet and I click here the moment you click here this macro will trigger automatically and when this macro is going to trigger this is going to take you to the macro one and then the macro will run that's it you won't even be able to see that the user is not going to see that right so if I just go and the last step I just remove the break code from here now look at this what's gonna happen look at this the macro is running and you won't be even able to un you know see that right that's a good thing so if I just go and add here let's say 33 and let's say 66 and let's say coca-cola okay now you see what will happen the moment I click on the another sheet and I go back and click on the sheet 11 let's see the data validation guys can you see that <laughs> this is really amazing right so that's it for now guys I hope you enjoyed this video in fact this is one of my favorite videos one of my favorite videos I thoroughly enjoyed it right and this question came up in my class my student asked me this question so thanks to her as well and uh, so that's it for now guys and do support me do subscribe to the channel if you have any questions you can post your comments and don't forget to like the video and we will talk about something you know so something more next time something you know better than this and something more exciting as always so stay happy stay fit and have a fantastic learning i'll see you soon bye bye